So we get a phone call one day. A woman says, my husband has 3,000 copies of his book in the garage. Can you help us? They had spent a lot of money with a PR firm, hadn't gotten anything. So his book was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And we actually ended up, before anybody had heard about him, getting him on radio talk shows, dozens of radio talk shows around the country. And he sold over 250,000 copies of that book, and it was self-published. Became a New York Times bestseller and since has sold way over 10 million copies. And it's just, you know, to me, I get inspired by that because I love seeing an idea happen. I love seeing a dream happen. My name is Steve Harrison, and my business is all about helping people that have a message to get it out there, to market their message effectively. So for some people that is having a book that they wanna make a bestseller, sometimes even getting the book done and getting it done the right way, other people, they, they want to be speakers and consultants and coaches. And generally, it, whether it's a product or a service, whatever it is, I love working with people who are on a mission. That's really most of the clients that I work with is they want to make a difference. And I think that's one way I can really relate to them. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. And what did you find? Yeah, it wasn't so bad, right? Because if you think about it, when you're doing a, a radio interview, what are you really doing? You're sharing some stories and you're teaching the audience. You know, uh, my very first job was uh, writing for a newspaper, for the Gannett News. And I loved writing and I loved books. I loved reading and I loved English class. And in fact, I even became an English major in college. And so one summer I wanted to do something in that line of work and a company that was a publishing company said, you can have a marketing position. I said, that sounds great. And it turns out the job was selling books door to door. <laughs> You know, but the thing about it was, it ended up being great training. We were we were offering families books to help their kids learn to read, and I, I learned a lot about how to communicate, and so that has really served me well. And when I graduated from school, my brother was actually starting a business in the Philadelphia area, and I was dating a girl. Uh, who was from Philadelphia, I figured, you know, I'll do this job with Bill that helps people promote their books and their message, and uh, I'll do that for about three or four months. Turns out here we are th almost 30 years later, I'm still working with Bill, and I married the girl. We've got three kids. <laughs> if we could just think about the different things we can give people to help them write their book faster, just put it all in the program, Right. That would be great for them. Yeah, it's a great program. It's really going to help a lot of people. I mean, it's such a unique chance to get, you know, feedback from a New York publishing house editor. I'm excited because this is really going to, you know, give them the inside track that they really need to, to write a good book and make it a big success. You know, it's funny. People say, how can you work with your brother? We worked together now for almost 30 years. And I tell you, it's really been great. Uh, I think one of the reasons is that our whole philosophy has been that the relationship comes first and we complement each other really well. Well, you know, Steve almost became a pastor, um, but, uh, uh, you know, lucky for me as his business partner, he decided not to go down that road, although I think he would have been a really good pastor. Steve's kind of the outside guy of our, our business, kind of the public face of it, the chief instructor of our programs, kind of the front guy. and I'm. The inside guy kind of run the business and do a lot of the marketing and stuff like that. So, you know, we work together for a long time now, um, and you know, we're a great team and have a lot of fun. You know, I think one of the things was we just it was so rewarding. You know, because a lot of times you work on something and you're wondering, well, why is this book not getting any attention? And you come up with a new headline which all of a sudden now the media loves. And the, the author goes from getting maybe no interviews to 20 interviews like that. And, and so I just really got turned on by the idea that very often you're just one idea away from getting anything you want. Probably the, the most successful client we, we had were these two guys that came to us and their credit cards were maxed out and they had big goals and dreams and they're, how are we gonna get our message out? and we began writing headlines and copy for them to position them to the media. And they would be getting dozens and dozens of radio talk show interviews that they would do via telephone. And that book was Chicken Soup for the Soul. And, and what was so gratifying 
was to see you know, chicken soup for the soul on the New York Times bestseller list and to see the kinds of people who were just inspired and encouraged by the stories. And I, I think that's, that was, that's one of the things that's just gratified me is, is I've been able to make a difference in people's lives by helping people that are making a difference to get their message out there. I think that Steve makes a great teacher and a mentor is because I think his heartfelt honesty. He's he's very um, inspirational to people, and he just he, he really wants to help people. I mean, he, there's something about him, and plus he's very smart, and he can really sense what you need. Steve Harrison may be one of the most likable people in the world. There's just something about his approach that makes this whole process of of reaching the masses not only doable, but doable in a really great way. We have a lot of people who are subject matter experts and we know what that subject is. We know it in and out. We know how to transform people's lives. But over here are people. Now in the middle is the tunnel. Steve Harrison is the tunnel. Did you travel through his tunnel and you get over here? He brings you there because he teaches you how to bridge your message and the gap from taking the problems and the outcomes you're solving for people to get you thinking like that. So you can present your idea so much better package it so much better. I think a lot of people think that marketing has to be slick or sleazy or insincere or somehow unethical. And when you're, and, and there's certainly a lot of people that do it that way. But when you do it the right way, which has come from a genuine place of service, you, you learn how to communicate the benefits of what you're doing in a winsome way. And I often say marketing is love because what do you do when you love somebody? You listen to them, you encourage them, you're enthusiastic about helping them, and that's really what marketing is. What do you do when you're not working? You know, when I'm not working, I, uh, I love playing tennis. I play a little piano, I'm always working at trying to play some Billy Joel. My wife and I are huge Philadelphia Eagles fans, you know, and so we're frustrated just season after season so often, um, but we love it. One thing I love about being an author, a speaker, a coach, is that you're able to change people's lives even if they don't buy from you. I get emails uh, from people that see videos that I do or webinars, teleseminars, or hear me speak, and they say, wow, you know, you changed my life. So these are boxes of actually thank you notes that people have sent, and it's, it's always really cool to take a look at what people have, have sent in. Okay, so this person came to one of my events. Wow, and she said it, she got on Good Morning America. Wow, because she ended up meeting the producer. And this is my National Publicity Summit. So this is, well, that's awesome. I love it when people call me up and say, Steve, you're never gonna believe this, but ABC called me. I'm gonna be on national TV on Friday. And, and you can just hear the, 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 the excitement because they're now going to be reaching millions of people. And in doing that, it's more than just that TV appearance. They now know they're going to be able to walk into the person that they really have always wanted to be, the kind of influence that they've always wanted to have, and the kind of difference that they've always wanted to make. And I feel like I've got the coolest job in the world.